Right, basically what it is, it's a, we've taken curtain wall technology and we've adapted it into a stone cladding system. And basically if you come from your structure, what we'll have is we will have a wall tie anchor bolted back into the structure. Now it could go in through a half and it can go into the structure, whatever the requirements are. On the, the mullion, there's a, there's a channel continuously up vertically where we will insert a slide bar. Slide bar will allow for a vertical expansion. Once these are in, that's your dead load, the, the mullion is fixed. The mullion in itself is two part. It's thermally broken. We've got a gasket at the back. When the, when the insulated panel goes in, your air seal is, is, is carried off. We also seal the front face. And then once that panel is up, your building is dry. It's sealed. The stone is off the critical path. You can continue working on the inside without the stone. By closing in the building, you allow the interior drywall work, and electrical work, and you know, floor and plumbing and other work to proceed you know, without having to wait on all the block work to be done. All right, the system is very fast. Like what we've done here, basically, it, under normal circumstances, both walls will be done in a day and a half, two days for two for two guys. That's the speed the system can go up. Well, the concept is the, the stone is still being applied as, as a veneer on the building. So but the difference here is rather than applying the individual pieces of stone as a veneer, one piece at a time, tied back to some backup structure, uh, what we have actually done here is engineered a better backup structure. Uh, we've engineered a full wall system on the ESW uh, that will replace having to put up a CMU or a concrete block backup with waterproofing because the ESW actually uh, replaces that and creates a full water barrier that is an insulated wall that is waterproof uh, that can go up in less time and with easier installation be more flexible than put up a CMU block. And once, once you've got that bolted and you've got all your mullions plumb and level, we come along to the front of the mullion. The front of the mullion has a, has a C channel. We bolt these uh, what we call mullion support clips in at midpoint of the joint. You can see here there's a, there's a line on the inside of that. That is the midpoint of the joint of, of the stone joints. That piece uh, will then marry with a male and female snap that's going into the horizontal. Once the horizontals are on, the stones are held back by a series of clips. Uh, and the, one of the great advantages of the system is it's non-sequential. If the stone doesn't come in in the right order, you can just leave it and move on. Yeah, the stone, the stone installation itself onto the horizontal rails can be put in and, and facilitated to be installed in any particular sequence. So as where the handset wall, the stone has to be installed typically from the base of the building and work your way up stacking the stone panels in place. And in this, on our system, it allows for the horizontal rails to go in first that allows the stone to be installed in any particular sequence, uh, bottom up, uh, top down, or any other random sequences may be necessary to install the panel. It is also a general contractor's dream to be able to uh, bring in a single source that can handle uh, that entire facade work. So, uh, you know, that single one-stop shop source to, to handle all the integration and coordination that is required at the... I think it's a well thought out design. It looks like it's simple for the tradesman to put in. It does have a lot of adjustability to allow for the wall to be uh, flat and, and be adjusted based on construction tolerances. And it, is, it does look like it has several ways to, to morph itself where you can use it as a recladding system on an existing building or you can go with it as a new system on new construction. And the one system that has the, uh, the facade work uh, allows you to do a full enclosure and then put the stone up later really has some advantages I think from both the construction side uh, for the contractor as well as for the owner to get his product done sooner so that he could start his finishes.